Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Yes, it's another new week. You know what that means? It's another new video. I'm heading back to Lagavulin. I'm going to do, guys, I've, I did this video probably about a year ago, which was the Lagavulin Jazz Festival 2017 look. I have a bottle kill, so I'm going to share this one with you now because I feel that it deserves... For me to come back to you. I'm just going to pour this now. Let this kind of settle down. Look at that. That's the last of it. <laughs> wow, I'm going to be sorry to see this one go. I'm going to cover it up with Whiskey Friend Coin number 11 on this one. Just while I recap. I think this bottle you can only get at auction now. It uh, was bottle number 2667. It was bottled at Castrent at 57.6% ABV and it was bottled in 2017 to celebrate the Isla, Isla Jazz Festival. Um, so it's a wonderful bottle. I did do it earlier, about a year ago. I will pop a link above if you missed that review. Um, but I just want to go back because I've had such a good time with this whiskey and I'm sorry to see it go because as most of you know, I'm not a peat fan but this bottle i tell you now guys i've got this covered by this coin and i can still smell it it's just such a beautiful beautiful sweet bonfire it's distant bonfire smoke wow and it's i'm not a, the biggest fan of lagavulin but i've loved this i love the Funnily enough, the two bottles that I loved the most was the 2017 12-year-old Cast Strength and this Jazz Festival. So I don't know if 2017 bottlings were just special lag of villains, but it's rich bonfire smoke. It's it's vanilla rich. It's honey rich. But the biggest thing that comes to mind for me, it's a real, real sophisticated whiskey. It's not your every day this is this is something special that comes along once in a while this is why hence i'm why i'm reviewing it again it's lemon it's lime it's lime juice it's lemon juice it's vanilla it's honey it's smoky it's floral it's fruity it's it's those beautiful apricots uh it's it's aromatic it's salty, it's maritime, it's briny, it's earthy, it's ashy, it's, it's got it all. Let's see what the palate gives us, folks. Slanch. Wow. I'm just loving this whiskey. When I did this way back when, folks, it was intense, it's powerful. It's still got all of that intensity. It still is powerful, but it's spicy. It's peppery. It's smoky. It's dry. It's oily. It's buttery. It's fruity. That That's just on the, the arrival. As it develops, it becomes really, really fruity. Those pears, those limes, that honey, that vanilla, that sweet honey, that sweet vanilla. The saltiness is there, the brininess is still there. It's a bit of damp wood going on. Wow, this is a complex whiskey, guys. It's so complex. It's got cooked meats. A little bit of bacon going on. A little bit of crispy bacon. It's dry, it's ashy. It's smoky. Let's do another sip. I need to try and save some for the finish. For me, guys, this has everything. It's beautifully balanced. It's comp the complexity is off the chart. It's wonderful. A little bit of licorice heading into the finish now. But it's everything. It's honey, it's sweet, it's spicy, it's, it's woody, it's damp wood, it's dried wood, it's... 
It's bonfire smoke. It's just such a wonderful, wonderful piece of work at Lagavulin. If all the jazz festival bottles are like this, guys, then you should pick them up every chance you should get. This may only be available at auction, which is a, it's a shame, but it's going to be a pricey auction. If you're a Lagavulin fan, then I would snap them up. I would Whatever it, it costs you to get it, I'd pay for it. Because if you just want to sample this bottle, it's it's really really worth sampling. But it can it may cost you a few quid to to pick this up. Um, let's do the finish. I think I've managed to save a little bit left for the finish. Oh, it's the longest finish. It's oily. It's fruity. Those apricots are there. Maybe a little bit of pear coming in there on the finish. It's salty, it's briny. The maritime notes are definitely there. The smoke's throughout. It's ashy. It's damp wood, it's ashy. But that vanilla sweetness is there throughout. Such a, such a beautiful dram. I've I tried it a couple of times with water. I preferred it without the water, folks, so... If you manage to do pick this bottle up, and I know this is going to be a video that you're going to watch it just for the sake. If you're a Lagavulin fan and you are, you're looking to pick up one of these, then it's certainly worth watching and it's worth picking up. But I scored this back as a 91 when I originally did it. But as I've got down to the last of the bottle, this is easily a 93 out of 100. It's pushing, bordering on 94. I'm going to settle on 93, folks, because I think it's got that such an improvement. If I was a peat bomb, if I was a peat lover, this could easily be a 95, 96, but I'm a sherry guy. For me, this has been wonderful. This has probably been one of the best peated whiskies that I've ever tasted. And it's 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 a 93 for me, guys, um, out of 100. So... If you've tried Lagavulin, if you're a Lagavulin fan, dive into the comments, guys. Let me know what you think. Have you tried the Jazz Festival 2017? Have you tried any of the Jazz Festival Lagavulin bottles? I did love the Lagavulin 12, Cast Strength, 2017. That was... That's probably the, the best Lagavulin I've ever had. Uh, dive into the comments. Let me know what you think, guys. That's it for this one, guys. If you've loved the video or you've liked the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, guys. YouTube likes it. Alan likes it. As always, the pleasure is in the sharing, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now.